Alright, hey guys, it's been quite a while since I've uploaded a video for this channel. Let's go ahead and see when the last one was. Fake right here. So this is a remix. This one doesn't count, so it's been... Oh, that's quite some time. Anyway, let's get right into the uh, actual video content. Alright, so what to, I'm going to be showing you today is I'm going to be showing you how to make your computer shut down quickly and easily uh, from command prompt or from the run command. Uh, all you have to use is, is this program I made called off.cmd. If you think it's a virus or anything, you can scan it, you can open it in notepad and see all the code and everything. So I can assure you it's not a virus. <clears throat> all right, so the first thing we're going to do is this is an optional step. We're going to make this a lot faster and easier to launch. If you want to do this every single time, first I'll show you how to extract it. Um, where did my folder go? All right. Um, just make any folder that doesn't have anything in it. Mine has stuff in it, but I don't care. But just try to make an empty folder and drag and extract these two files to it. So just go ahead and do that. You'd press OK if you want to overwrite anything for like a newer version or whatever. But all right, now we have it extracted. So we have off.cmd and we have readme.txt and you should have nothing else in this folder really. Alright, so now that you have this folder, if you wanted to and you didn't want to do the easy setup, all you have to do is just open up command prompt from uh, the run button and then type in cmd. And then you drag and drop off to command prompt and then you'd say something like abort shutdown or whatever. Um, but again, that takes a long time to do and sometimes you just want to shut down your computer immediately. So we're going to set up a shortcut to uh, shutting down our computer. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is make sure, again, that you have everything in the same folder. Next thing, we'll need the folder path. So just double click up here, and it should give you the full path to the folder. If not, you can just copy, type it in manually. But just go ahead and copy the full path to the folder. And then we're going to need to go into our computer settings. So go over here and open up computer. Then you right click on computer and go to properties. Alright, so next thing you want to do is go to advanced system settings, then click on environmental variables, which is right here. Then you'll see up here, user variables for your username. I uh, Go to path, it should be selected by default, and click edit. And then at the very, very end, it will say like, let me take this off, this is what I already did. It will just have some random folder name, if it has anything. Alright, so just go to the end. If it has nothing in there, you can just type this in manually. If you have something in, just press a semicolon at the very, very end. You can press N to get to the end. After you have your semicolon, only if there's other stuff in there, go ahead and paste in your folder path. Again, if there's nothing in here at all, you don't need a semicolon. Just paste in your folder path. But if you do have a bunch of stuff like I do, semicolon at the very end, then paste in your path. So it should look like blah, 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 all your folders, all your folders, all your folders. And then semicolon, and then your folder that you just pasted uh, off into. So you press OK, and press OK, <coughs> and press OK again. All right, now when we open up Command Prompt, we just type off, and it will automatically run. We don't have to drag and drop it anymore. Right, another fast way is you can press uh, Windows key and R together, and then you can type off, and it will pop up. <coughs> so that makes everything quick, quite a bit faster and quite a bit easier. So now I'm going to show you the commands real quick. Alright, so the first command is uh, if you want to set a shutdown time for force shutting down your computer. Since that's the most common task, I made that the easiest. So, what you can do is either open up the run box or open up command prompt. I'm going to open up command prompt because it's going to be a little bit easier to see. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type off uh, 90. That means it will make our computer shut down in 90 seconds. So, so that's shut down in 90 seconds, 0 hours, 0 minutes, 90 seconds. Uh, if we press enter right now, then our computer will start to shut down in 90 seconds. It says computer will shut down in one minute. Um, it's a little over one minute, but it gets the idea. So if we want to stop that, all we have to do is off A. Alright. So it says log off has been cancelled, even though it was actually a shutdown. But anyway. Alright, so the next thing we're going to look at is how to set minutes. Uh, you have to always go seconds, minutes, hours if you want to do all three. But if you want to do less, you just do seconds and then minutes and then hours, however much you want. So the next thing you want to do is off zero seconds, ten minutes. Press enter, and that will take us to here. We'll shut down in 600 seconds or ten minutes in zero seconds. Confirm. It says your computer will shut down in ten minutes. That's fine. Um, if we want to cancel that again. Off A. 
and it says it's been canceled. The last thing we're gonna show you is how to put in hours. That kind of goes without saying, but you can go off, zero minutes, zero seconds, one hour. You can't leave any of these blank if you're trying to keep going. So basically, you can do seconds alone, but if you wanna do minutes, you have to type in seconds, even if it's zero. You, can do, you can't do minutes alone, but if you want, <laughs> sorry, yeah, you can't do minutes alone, but if you want to do minutes, you have to put seconds even if it's zero. You can't do hours alone, but if you want to do hours, you have to type in minutes and seconds even if they're both zero. So here we go. Press enter. The system will shut down in 3,600 seconds or one hour, zero minutes, zero seconds. Press enter to confirm. It says your computer shut down in 60 minutes, which is, of course, one hour. And we can do off A to abort the shutdown. And next thing we're going to do is show you the special options. So, um, if you, uh, the last thing you can do is you can change if you want to shut down, restart, or log off. But in order to do that, just like with the other things, you have to type in everything else first. So this is a more advanced option. So, if we want to uh, log off our computer in zero minutes, or a series zero seconds, ten minutes, and zero hours, because again you have to have all three in order to change the uh, method, we can tell it to restart our computer. It says it will force restart our computer in 600 seconds or 10 minutes. All right, so press enter. It says the computer will shut down. It should restart. I haven't actually tested the restart thing yet, but it should. I told it to do the restart. Now, before we get in trouble and mess up the recording, off A again to abort it. And next thing we're going to do is the last option. The last option is to tell it to not force shut down. Like for instance, um, if you don't want to force shut down, force shut down kills all programs running. So sometimes you just want a normal shutdown. Of course it takes a lot longer and it may fail if you have like notepad or something open, but if you want a safer shutdown, you can always turn off force. And of course, in order to use force, you have to do all the options first. So we're gonna do off zero minutes, uh, zero seconds, 10 minutes, zero hours. And we're gonna log off with not forcing or n and it says the system will log off notice it doesn't say force log off log off in 600 seconds press enter to confirm and it, i guess log off doesn't really work with time so i'll have to work on that but log off will work in the future i'll re-upload it and make a note in the video when log off's working and let's just do off a See, it says, it, okay, so log off doesn't work at the moment, but I will try to have it work in a later version, and I'll let you know in the comments. But yeah, that's it. It's uh, super simple, and it's called just Super System Shutdown. I should call it simple, Super Simple Shutdown or something, but anyway, I record, I programmed this at like 3 a.m. It's a very basic program, but it will certainly make your life easier if you have a big download or something you have to do in like Chrome or something that doesn't automatically have a shutdown, or maybe you have a Steam update. Yeah, Steam updates are crazy. So this will certainly help you out. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. the first video I've uploaded that's been new since October of 2014. So it's been a little over a year. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you later. Bye.